Hi everyone, we're inside the 2023 base camp. Uh, this one's a soft wall. Again, they come in soft wall or hard wall. Focus our attention right now to the underbed storage. Centering the mattress just so I can open it up. I won't hit the sides. Ample storage, uh, much bigger than our optional storage for our Hudson Bay or our backcountry much deeper storage. Those two are two and a half inch and this one here is uh, about four inches. Nice six inch uh, mattress which is exclusive to the base camp. Moving back, opening up this bamboo countertop, this enclosure here, this is for the toilet. Now you can choose whichever one you want. You can take a cassette toilet, which in this case the customer wanted the cassette, or you can go have a porta potty if you want, or something as uh, easy as a wrap on as well. But it's a it's a very nice space, of course, with the countertop that moves up, gives you ample room. You don't have to be a contortionist to use it. Inside, there is a shower connection because your shower is right in front of the doorway, uh, the entrance to the camper itself, or to the cabin. There's also a 12 volt auxiliary down at the bottom of this column here inside the, uh, the enclosure, the toilet enclosure, and uh, that's, that's should you elect to have a wrap on. Also illuminated, if you'd like. See that probably better with this closed. I should also mention we got a switch right here, and uh, what this switch does is it, it's a um, if you've got if you decide you're going to lower the roof, and you've got this countertop in the upright position, that's going to cause some catastrophic issues. So the roof cannot be operated unless this switch is closed, which will only happen when this is actually down. So it's just a little safety thing that we put in place. You notice that it's got the plastic on the starboard, the protective film. Uh, we leave this on until this actually takes delivery to our dealer and or customer uh, just to prevent any scratches. This is a black starboard. Uh, we just don't want to have it scratched here. So you'll see that on the drawer fronts over here as well. Uh, moving back, um, the sink itself, we've got a nice square deep basin sink bamboo cutting board on top. The stove itself, you can get a couple of different ways here. You can get a propane delete on the base camp, which means you're not going to have any propane inside the cabin at all or for any of the appliances. The only time you'd have the prop there would be a, a propane storage would be for your external uses such as a grill or something like that outside. But in this case, what comes standard with it is quite useful actually. It's a single burner propane burner and right beside it is uh, a true induction uh, single induction cooktop. So coming standard on the base camp uh, in the base camp galley is the two burner stove top uh, cooktop rather. So you got the propane and then you've got the single burner induction. What's interesting about this true induction cooktop is you can actually pop this out. See the rubber feet on the bottom? You unplug it there's a receptacle just underneath, you just follow the wire and you can unplug it and you can take this outside and plug it into the exterior of the cabin and you can use it outside if you choose. If you're not interested in doing so, it stores nicely right there. It has a little rubber gasket that goes all the way around underneath and just the weight of it uh, will keep most liquids out anyways. Um, Standard in the galley as well, as you see, is the 164-liter Dometic compressor fridge. But lots of lots and lots of room. It's all tape shut just because it's going to be delivered to customers, so I won't actually open any of these things for the purpose of this video. 
but very nice. As you can see on the galley, um, our control panel, where you got your interior lights, auxiliary heater, uh, our boiler for hot water, and then our auxiliary switch, which can be used for most anything. Uh, then you're coming, moving over, you got your 12 volt, two banks of 12 volt, and then one bank of AC, AC power. Uh, this one happens to be set up with a split system air conditioner. So I believe it's the red dot. And uh, you can see the outlets at the bottom of the, the footwell in the dinette area. Directly above those four ports for the AC system, you'll find a large, probably a six inch by seven inch grill and that is for the, uh, it's a heat exchanger, so the, the glycol loop coming off of the chassis that I mentioned uh, previously, that's where that is at. So it's got a little fan behind it, and it's just going to blow and keep the cabin nice and warm while you're driving, should you have it uh, operational. In the galley, we've got three drawers. The top one's not really a drawer. you got an AC plug-in here. We just got a, a cubby hole here where you can store a number of different items. And you got this drawer right below it. All like all of our units, all the drawers come full length out. Nice and deep. And this bottom one is on 300 pound slides because it is used to access the bed as well. So it's got some anti-slip tape on there. And again, I'm around 215, and that thing's not moving around. I'm able to get up on the bed, no problem. And I'm not a, I'm certainly not a tall person. Underneath the lid, you flip it open, and you've got a cavernous drawer. So if you've got a fry pan, pot, wok, whatever, like you've got a lot of room in here. And it's locked in the out position. Locked in the closed. I'm just going to give you guys a quick, uh, I just want to show you really quickly what's going on down underneath the dinette floor. I mentioned earlier in the video that the, you got four ports connected to the red dot AC system. Those are them. This here heater is off of your air top, your SBAR air top system. And then this one, this grilled area here, this is, this is the uh, exchanger that's connected to the glycol loop coming off of the chassis. So if you want it on, You'll just valve it on, supply and return uh, underneath the hood, and that'll keep your cabin at nice temperature uh, when you're when you're in travel mode, especially in cooler temps. Down here, you've got room for this one's got four 100 amp or pardon me, three I can't count, three 100 amp hour uh, rely on LT 100s. LT stands for low temperature. We got built-in heaters. They're quite an actually, uh, out of all the batteries that we've, we've used, uh, these, these rank among the top that we like to use. We really like the way that they've uh, designed their heating system. Uh, looking back into the corner, we've got our hydronic heating uh, with our plate exchanger. Uh, we can actually top up uh, glycol. And we've got a mixing valve, so you can adjust your temperature of your hot water. This thing will also, almost, with a, because it's got a Robasto, um, boiler. Uh, you can actually almost make steam with this. You can't make steam, but it get you can get, make it pretty hot. Uh, your water pump is down here on the suction side of your water pump. You've got a filter screen. You can actually periodically uh, empty that out. Uh, so you got good access is what I'm getting at right here. Good access to to your battery bank and to the other equipment that you may have to adjust from time to time or clean. Provide some maintenance too. Batteries are secured with the ratchet strap and then there is this very robust floor inch and a half thick that actually fits over top it actually fits back over top and you've got to hold your tongue just right getting this in video is not going to like this because I got to open the fridge door and away we go goes into place that latch and latch or not push into it. 
secured, ready to go down the road. Gonna talk about the gurney bunk for the base camp. The gurney bunk is, is very much like the gurney bunk in the Hudson Bay or the back country. As you can see, there's mounts here on this, on passenger side and driver side. Um, so during the day, you can pull it out, roll it up, and leave it back there and it's completely out of the way. Or if you want it right out of the way, you can actually just take it right out and put it uh, forward on the, uh, uh, the main bedroom mattress up front. Also, excuse me, also on the back here, we got a couple of different cushions. Because we got the side windows, I'm just going to pull this away. I'm not going to totally take it off. These side windows are great uh, should you be using the dinette as a bed. So you can actually fold this down into a bed and then you've got windows on either side, driver and passenger. Uh, or if you'd rather just have it like that, you can actually just leave these back cushions at home or stack them up on one side if you want to open up a window for some cross draft or something like that. That's standard on the uh, base camp. I'll demonstrate how this gurney bunk works. I've just got it rolled up for daytime use. And again, in uh, daytime use, you can also just remove this completely and throw it on top of the mattress up front. But you just unroll it. First take this lock out, spacer lock. Insert the lock in first. And then the driver's side, slide it over until the lock drops. And then it's secured. This is not coming out. Give you an idea how much weight it will hold. I think I'm, I don't know, 215. pretty comfy don't mind this at all but yeah it is pretty comfortable you can roll over you got enough width for a uh, for full-size adult I've got you know my shoulders are wider but uh, I'd sleep on this no problem as I mentioned in, in a early on in the video I've got a full Victron package in this in this unit including the servo GX what the servo GX allows you to do it's got a lot of functionality. Uh, tank levels for your gray water, for your fresh water, which you can obtain all this information by uh, toggling through this screen. You can find, until you find the one that you like, you can, it's kind of not customizable, but you can move around until you find the screen that you like to get the, all the information that you're looking for. So, but uh, absolutely. And uh, also, Oops, Servo GX, you're also going to be Bluetooth. I don't have the Bluetooth activated on my phone, I'd show it to you, but um, you get the idea. Directly adjacent to it is our air top heater, Webasto air top heater. So uh, with this one here, you're able to adjust. It's got two fan speeds. Uh, the discharge is just underneath the dinette uh, seat here, directional going forward. Um, you can use this in fan mode or you can use it in heat mode. So it's just like a thermostat you have at home. You can adjust it uh, for the temperature you're looking for and away you go. The actual heater itself is uh, mounted underneath the vehicle and also has a muffler. So it'll keep it a little quieter when this thing is running. So this one's got two Webastos in it. It's got the Webasto boiler that's used for hot water, etc. And then of course you got the uh, Webasto air heater. So, and then the additional heater over top of that is one I mentioned earlier in another video or this same video is the, um, which is located underneath the dinette seat here as well, down here. And that is just an exchanger with a little fan and that's tied into the glycol system on the chassis. So as you're traveling, you can keep the cabin nice and toasty warm in, you know, late fall or early winter conditions. Again, the base cam comes in two models. It comes in a soft wall pop-up 
and it also comes in a hardwall version. So the gray tank is external. It's underneath the uh, cabin, uh, down between the uh, frame rails. And uh, for this reason, we always consider this, we'll advertise it as a three season unit. But I mean, if you're using it for a season, you can certainly uh, just leave your gray water tank valve discharge <clears throat> just cracked open. And uh, you, you don't have to worry about any kind of freeze up just discharge from the sink or from inside in the shower, uh, inside the camper.